just a model railway. Today I'm here at Bewley National Motor Museum and I'm going to be looking at the monorail and taking a trip on it. So I hope you enjoy this video. Deep in the heart of the New Forest lies Bewley, mecca of the world's motoring enthusiasts. The Montague Motor Museum was founded in 1952 as a tribute to British motoring achievements. At that time, the few motoring museums had a comparatively simple system, just park them and show them. Here, Lord Montague drives an 1899 Daimler, with him the Duke of Kent. It's a fascinating exhibition. The new National Motor Museum displays the entire history of motoring from 1895. The Italian Bugatti and of course the British Bentley are just two among the foremost names in motor racing. Over the years the collection has grown to such an extent that it was decided to rename it the National Motor Museum. The opening was performed by the Duke of Kent. The new museum affords enthusiasts an opportunity to appreciate a more adventurous kind of motoring in an age which knew genuine transports of delight. This high-level, mile-long monorail is the oldest in England. The idea of incorporating a monorail into the National Motor Museum site came to Lord Montague during his visit to Expo 67 in Montreal, where a monorail passed through the US pavilion. The monorail system at Bewley was opened in, in 1974 by the Wombles. <laughs> arrived in the monorail now and about to have a trip round the gardens. <laughs> Please remain seated throughout the ride. Hello, I'm Lord Mott, joining you to talk about some of the things you'll see from the train. Below here on the left is the world of Top Gear with a selection of vehicles that have been used, abused, and sometimes even written off in long-running series. These poor cars badly needed a home after filming was completed, and so I was only too pleased to give them space here at Mew. On the left now is the arena where we hold many of our motoring events. If you have a favourite make of car, it might be one of those we have an event for, so please check our website for details. On the right is Little Beauty, 
Park Adventure Playground for the under 14. Don't worry if you're older than that, there's a cafe right alongside you, so you can enjoy refreshments as you watch the younger members of your party let off steam. As we turn the corner, look out for the tower, which forms the highest part of the Adventure Playground. Give a wave to anyone standing in the tower. On the left, you'll soon see the remains of Uliad. It was founded over 800 years ago, demolished in 1538 by King Henry VIII at the time of the Reformation. It was then sold to my ancestor, the Earl of Southampton. The stately homes of England, how beautiful they stand To prove the upper classes have still the upper hand Though the fact that they have to be rebuilt And frequently mortgaged to the hilt Is inclined to take the guilt Off the gingerbread and certainly damps the fun Of the eldest son Carrots, potatoes, chard, salad leaves, and my favourite, spinach. We are now passing through the monorail maintenance of the Iver, East Road Motorhome. Iver comes out from the track and track and, very occasionally, the rest of the train. The siding is also used for the second train when not in use. Next is the orchard, which has a mixture of old apple variety. Much of the crop is used in the making of our apple juice. Please mind your hand as you are lost. 